Oh. survival tips. I've already decided uh, you can't put all the survival tips in one video. And I don't make 10 minute videos. So you can't cram it all in one video. And don't worry about the lighting. Okay, first survival tip, you should never smoke. Never smoke. Bad for you. It costs money. And that humming you hear with my radio, I had a song on there, but you're not allowed to have songs on there for copyright reasons. So I just stuck it off the station. So it's humming. I don't know if you can hear it or not. But I just can't stand silence. Something's got to be playing. Okay, the first survival test. Batteries suck. All right. Without light, look at this thing. It don't do nothing. You can't see nothing with this. It's batteries suck. You know. So don't use them. Rechargeable batteries. I tried that. They're a joke. They really are. But I'll, uh, I'll give y'all some tips about batteries. Everybody always thinks alkaline batteries last longer and all this. It don't. Not true. So another thing about battery products, they break on you and you have to work on them and fix them all the time. The batteries suck. Um, so you could go out and spend like five dollars on one battery, you know, and you use it. An alkaline battery. And uh, they burn up quick. You just can't use them. You know, I'll give y'all more. It's broke. I can't fix it. a better example here as soon as I can find it. Alright, y'all see this? This is a shock collar for dogs. You know, if you've got bad dogs that do bad things. Not me, of course. Oh well. Um, it cost us about ten dollars for the batteries to go to these if you buy alkaline ten dollars and they last about they last about four or five days whether you use the collar or not in five days those batteries are gone you know so we kept buying them over and over again we had bad dogs that barked and aggravated the neighbors it did other things that I don't want to tell you because it's, you know. So, anyway, after a while, I started to start spending $10 every five days for batteries. So I, I went to one of these little dollar stores that just happened to be there and they had like, they had like 20 ordinary, just, they wasn't alkaline or nothing. They were just 20 ordinary batteries. They were called heavy duty batteries or something like that. They wasn't alkaline or nothing. And them things, they lasted a month. They outlasted alkaline. I'm not talking about 20 batteries versus two batteries. I'm talking about battery for battery. The super duty batteries, the ordinary little ones, you know, the ordinary batteries. Uh, outlasted the alkalines 10 to 1. So batteries, if you're going to use them, use a cheap brand. I mean, test them. Test them yourself. See which ones you think last long. So, survival tips in the streets. Batteries are... Ain't 
just think the way to go. Your cell, like if you're in the dark, your cell phone probably is a better source of light than this stuff. Look, if you was out in the wilderness right now, I couldn't even put this together. More on survival skills. Drinking water is... You know, people don't think that's really an issue, but it really is. You know, if you're out there and you're poor and you need water, you can't just, you know, like I've seen on these survival shows where these people were out in the desert or whatever and they didn't have water. And you got to have water. You got to have, you're supposed to have a gallon of water every day, no matter what. So if the apocalypse people are caught out there, water is probably your first, your first need. And we'll get to all the needs. I'm just going to cover a couple every once in a while, you know, when I feel like it. So, anyway, you can get these, through, you can get them at Walmart now. They're survival straws. They're about that long, probably about as big around as your thumb. And they're filterized. You can actually get them made in a pump where you can hook a hose up to any kind of water except for salt water. That's a whole different deal. But any fresh water, you put your hose in the pond or whatever it is your water source is and you run this pump and it sends it through a filter and comes out the other end and it comes out, it's supposed to be 99.99, you know, percent bacteria free to treat your water for you. And I don't know how much they cost. Some of them are like 20 bucks. But if you're talking about survival, you really do need water. You know, that thing will save you. I mean, if you're out on out somewhere and you just drink out of a stream, you know, the bacteria alone, you know, will make you sick. And survivalness is important. They're called survival straws. And you can probably find them in some Walmarts. And I've got about two or three minutes. What's the alternative to batteries? If you have to use them, use the cheapies. And then experiment with yourself. Candles are okay, but you really do need to be careful because I've seen a lot of idiots burn their places down. Or, you know, you just, you really shouldn't do it. Shouldn't use fire at all. That's another survival. I don't have a seat, and I ain't seen any more of your questions. So, and I'm almost out of time anyway. So, I only covered batteries and water for now. Ask your questions and I'll answer them, you know. Because um, I just can't come off the top of my head and predict what you want me to talk about, so. Um, oh, I covered no smoking, you know, that's, that's a good tip. Um, so I'm gonna cut this one short, and this is Momo saying if you're in the street, Buck up, buddy, because there's better days. <laughs>